Philipp Amthor is 25 and new to the German parliament, the Bundestag. A delegate for the Conservative Christian Democrats, or CDU, he's experiencing one of the most turbulent times in German politics. Chancellor Angela Merkel hasn't been able to form a government. The Liberal Free Democrats pulled out of coalition talks. Now a fresh election is a possibility. Philipp Amthor would prefer a minority government. So who will be in charge in Berlin and who's to blame for this predicament? Oh good, that worked. What are you doing? I'm posting a short video on Facebook about new elections and what the Constitution has to say about that. It's a good thing to talk about right now, and people are interested in it. Knowing the facts when discussions get emotional is helpful. That's why I made this explanatory video. Germany was set to get its first ever national coalition government of conservatives, liberals and greens, but coalition talks collapsed. What good is a new election? Would it enhance stability? Only if new coalition plans or new policy proposals are made. It is, of course, conceivable that new elections will be held. But if that happens, I'm not worried that I won't be elected again. I'll be fighting hard for that, of course. That's part of democracy. But I do hope we'll be able to form a stable government. Amtor, who comes from northeastern Germany, believes that a minority government could be a stable solution. Now I have to post this, and then we should leave. It will just be a moment. Amtor's parliamentary group has called an urgent meeting. Conservative parliamentary chair Volker Kauder is giving an interview criticizing Germany's Social Democratic Party, the SPD. They were in a grand coalition with Merkel's conservatives, but had a poor showing in September's parliamentary election. Now they're opposed to a fresh coalition with the CDU. I just heard the statement by SPD parliamentary group leader Andrea Nahles. I believe that anyone who is unwilling to take part in this task, despite the fact that they stood for election in order to assume political responsibility, should remain silent at this moment. A clear message to the SPD? Yeah. Yes. Right now the SPD are being completely irresponsible. I already thought it was eyebrow-raising after the election. They were sulking and refused to talk about policy and just went into retreat. What good are new elections when they won't even take responsibility for Germany now? Why should anyone vote for such a party? Amtor hurries to the meeting. He wasn't in Berlin when coalition talks collapsed. He was in Brussels with some of his colleagues. When we received the news, yeah, there were ten of us sat in front of the smallest TV in Brussels. It was all right in Paul's hotel room, though. Yeah, the minibar was well stocked too, so it was okay. And what was the mood like? So, so, not the best it's ever been. We were shocked, surprised and shocked. It's not easy. Difficult times, especially for Chancellor Merkel. She's been counting on a three-party coalition of Conservatives, Liberals and Greens, and that failed to materialize. What do Philipp Amthor and the 245 other members of his parliamentary group make of this? The news ticker says Angie wants new elections. No, no, no. She didn't say new elections. She'll stand again. There's a ticker message saying she prefers new elections instead of a minority government. Hmm. That will be difficult. Is Merkel really in favor of new elections? Didn't she see Philipp Amthor's video? In the Conservatives' parliamentary chamber, there's only one topic, the failed coalition talks. And everyone wonders whether the Liberal FDP was seriously interested in an alliance at all. 
How did you spend the night? I was thinking. I watched it live on TV, so we saw it happening. It was perplexing. I really didn't see it coming. We'll see if this was deliberate. That was my impression yesterday. It seemed there wasn't much willingness. I've been asked if I'm disappointed, but I'm frustrated. Politics isn't about disappointments and frustration. It was tough to accept, but I did get a night's nice rest. I had an extra glass of wine. We did too. <laughs> The Conservatives are meeting behind closed doors. The MPs are presenting a united front, saying they support Chancellor Merkel in this crisis. Anyone with doubts is keeping mum. Did anyone call for a fresh start and a new leadership? No, nobody called for that today. To be honest, I didn't even hear people talking about that in the hallways. That wasn't the mood. We support Angela Merkel. That's how it is. The next morning, Amtor is taking part in a chat about the latest news. Germany's president is imploring party leaders to solve the crisis together. He's against snap elections, like Philipp Amtor. Is your video popular? Yes, 23 shares so far. That's all right. So it's getting decent attention. That's good. Who's sharing it? All kinds of people. The most surprising is probably that the left-wing party Die Linke in the town of Volgas shared it. They have some reasonable local politicians. The far-right populist AFD party, though, could be a formidable political threat. They're Bundestag newcomers and could benefit from fresh elections. Well, the AFD party has some reasonable people among its ranks. Some were CDU members for many years. But the AFD hasn't yet formed a coherent set of positions. It's important to confront them over concrete issues. They're our main political competitor, at least in my electoral district. They're a political threat to us. We need to show what makes us better than them through substantive debate, rather than issuing sweeping condemnations. Philipp Amthor is one of 709 MPs in Germany's Bundestag. He's the second youngest member of parliament, and that helps make him a media favorite. He uses that to champion a minority government. At the end of the day, we have to accept that the authors of our basic law, our constitution, did not rule out a minority-backed chancellor. The Bundestag has convened a plenary session to prepare for the upcoming weeks, despite lacking a government. So what happens next? Will Angela Merkel stay at the helm? Will the Social Democrats join a coalition after all? Philip Amtor has mixed feelings about Merkel. Their electoral districts are right next to each other, at the Baltic Sea in northeastern Germany. Merkel once gave the young politician advice. During a coffee break, Amtor recalls their conversation. Well, at the beginning of the year, we talked about what it was like when she campaigned in her first general election. I liked that. She enjoyed remembering those times in the 1990s when she went from one community to the next with a trestle table. She's good at making a personal connection with citizens. But Philip Amthor has staked out a more conservative political terrain than Merkel. Many of his fellow conservatives would also like the chancellor to adopt a more conservative stance. They believe the CDU would have done better at the polls had they done so. It's clear that looking ahead, our party must accentuate its three major pillars. Its economically liberal stance, its Christian social values, and its conservative side. I believe everyone in the party agrees we need to strengthen our profile, especially when it comes to conservative issues.
For Amtor, staking out a clear political profile is important, and so is networking, like at this meeting with a member of the German Military Officials Union. It's an important topic to me. My grandfather was in the East German Army, and later, an officer in the West German Bundeswehr. And the Bundeswehr has a big presence in my electoral district in Western Pomerania. Amtor also writes Christmas greetings for German soldiers on missions abroad. Super. Amtor is a lawyer by training and prefers focusing on domestic politics, but he gets on well with these lobbyists. Super. Let me unwrap this. When you're here, you've got to wear it, of course. Sure, I'll wear it. I'll even take off the German flag pin today. <laughs> Thanks for wearing our yellow ribbon. It means a lot to us. Both agree a stable Germany is needed in European and world affairs. It's important that Germany makes its views heard in light of European developments. On December 6th, the European Commission plans to present its ideas for an economic and monetary union package. We can't leave everything to Macron and the others. We must get involved. In other words, Amtor wants Angela Merkel to remain chancellor. And who knows, maybe the Social Democrats will agree and help Merkel stay in office. Philipp Amtor would welcome that.